every day the schedule's a little bit different. So the first thing I do is you gotta check the schedule, find out uh, when the cuts are. Um, then you're gonna go back and do a safety check on the Zamboni, make sure all the fluids are full. Well, it is a tough job to learn. Uh, a lot of people think the machine, you just jump on it and drive and go, but there's actually a lot of skill to it. Uh, got the blade too deep or going too fast, going too slow, too much water, it'll uh, freeze it up, and you won't, it plugs it up with snow and you won't be able to finish the cuts, so you have to come off, uh, rinse it out, try again. It's somewhat similar to your car at home. I mean, you have your, your key ignition right here. Uh, these are your water controls. This is your ice making water. And this one is the wash water. This is the wash water sprays in front of the augers and in front of the blade, so if there's like dirt, gum wrappers, whatever, it'll spray that and loosen it and the augers and blades cut it up and then sucks it back up. Operates on propane, cleanest fuel you can have for indoor, and we do have an air handling system. When we turn, start the Zamboni, we have big overhead fans that sucks all the air out. Just like at home, this is your throttle. Uh, unlike gas pedal, it does have a gas pedal, but it's basically just go and stop. Um, it's not your throttle like a car. This is your throttle, engine RPMs, and then forward and backwards. You really have to be careful uh, the path you take on the ice, and how much water you put down, how deep you're cutting, and all that good stuff. If you don't have that quite right, uh, what looks very simple on the Zamboni driving around the rink is actually a pretty complicated process.